pretty good, hey? That's what you want, that throffy water. Would it go throffy? You want frothy water? Yeah, quite bad as like that, eh, that look, you know that. It's all starting to go to flower look, but they still be tasty as. Look. They'll be tasty. Should we swap the camera? Nice. Right, so here we are, we break down the river. But two weeks after we got flooded out. This is all underwater here. And this my puha patch there was underwater. So we're here for we're here for another white bait. Got my sister here and her partner from uh Ngaru Wahia. They're going back today, so we're gonna try and get them some some white bait for them to take home and also uh, I'll come here to show them all this teal teal that's starting to go to flower right, check this teal teal here, we are. they're going to pick some of that as well not toroi sister, another sister here so so come in here and pick some of this toroi not toroi come here and pick some of this teal teal and there it is check that out it's starting to go to flower look but they still be tasty as they be tasty as that look at it all so we had water up to about a bit this high it was quite high the water from the rain but look see <laughs> check that out get out to Ngaro Wahia with a nice feed of puro puro puha There we go, look. Heaps of teal teal there. There you go, look at that, see? Here's my, my teal teal patch. Organic as. And some ordinary puha there, look. Choice. I've got a few feeds from here so far. On the other side too? Yeah, that's where I started from, yeah. So this was all underwater last week. Yeah. So that's all that dirt they mounded up before it was already rough here and they just got a dozer and it mounded up all over here. So that's all full of like cow tickle and stuff, you know, it's like really quite rich soil. You know, it'll go over here. So here's heaps of poo how they look. Right here we are back at our spot. First time in about probably Nearly two weeks. Look how muddy it is, look. Oh, the tide's low as. It's, it's an hour incoming tide so far, but... Yeah, oh, yucks. Look at that, it's really low. Ooh. A lot of stuff's coming out of the canal next door. So all of this was covered in water. We had water over this hill here, or this bank. Here's my spot there, you can tell that's been wet. It's starting to collapse down the bottom there. So we had water all the way up to here, see? Right. The tide's quite low. Yeah, but it's gone down pretty quick and I saw my neighbour yesterday, he came down for a look and he was white baiting and he got he got two nice shoals when I was here. I was going, oh, they're nice shoals. He had a few big guys in there as well. A few big uh, white bait. But he had two nice shoals with two nice lots of white bait. So that's. Anyway, I'm going to set my net up. We're going to throw it in here. It's all coming out of the lagoon. Look. That's why it's so brown and dirty here. Oh, uh, uh, yuck. Hopefully when the tide starts pushing up the other way, we'll get rid of that brown crap. So they've opened the lagoon up by the look of it. Bugger it. Hey Rubber. Let's clean away there too, look. Oh. Our second little shoal just turned up in this mud. It's a bit more than the first shoal and we've got actually 
only about two or three big ones in there, which is all right. Oh, oh sorry, oh sorry. Sorry, I used to have people down here in my my secret spot. But there you go, see. All right. The tide is still, look at that, see, it's still pretty crap, but there's a nice bit of current happening. That's what you want. Current. See, you got that, see, film it coming in. Oh, rubber's there, look. Wow. Look at Get that. Get out of the camera. Nice. Nice, so, yep. Well done, see, from the old Puha Mound. There we are, look. Nice bones. The tide's coming in now. The old current slowed down a little bit. Yeah, so this is the old food pantry. Welcome to the organic food pantry. Here we have it. Need some shopping baskets here, eh? It'll be handy. Shopping trolley. Did I catch so far? Got a little bit of white bed in there. Got three little shoals, so. I bit want some water rubber. You want some water rubber? Yeah, I haven't filmed them, but I thought I'd film this show here. I can't even see them go over the marker, but I just lift up the net every couple of minutes and we're getting shoals like that. They're getting a little bit bigger, the shoals, and the tide, as you can see, is, is coming in quite nicely there. But yeah, nice little shoal. Happy with that. I don't think there's any big ones in there at all. Here we are. As you can see, that marker is, you can't even see anything, so it's just random lifting it up. There's a nice bit of current happening now. Look, the water's a lot clearer. It's not coming out of the lagoon anymore. So we had rain about maybe two weeks ago. The river's still dirty, look. But it's ideal for white baiting. So you can't see the white bait, but if you had a set net, what do you call them? Sock net. Right. Yeah, I'm getting a bit stuck. Shit. I'm going to show you the white bait. Let's have a look. Hoi! That's pretty good. Probably have about a hundred grams there, maybe. Something like that. There's a few big ones here. We'll check those out. Right, right, right. So you go. I just took a few big ones out and then just pulled that up. And that is a nice show. Look at that. In 4K as well. Check that out. Nice show. But yeah, that was a good show look. It was a good show. Hopefully you're gonna have a good day today. Ooh, what you want? Nice. There's a couple of big ones in there, here and there. Might be a good day today. It's gonna be a good day. So that current is pretty good there at the moment. Dirty water and current. <laughs> there we have it, another good shoal, look. A few big ones. Look at that. Right. Is it rubber? Hey, hey, hey. Got them big ones in there. So, straight after that show, we just pulled in another nice one. Look, look at that. It's a, 
They can't even seem to go over the marker, but we've got some nice white bait there, haven't we? Check that out. It's about three minutes after the previous one. You know, we'll check this in, eh? Mm hmm? Here we go. Just put that in. In. That's a good show, that one. This mic is not even working. You can't even see them, but you don't need them. You just gotta lift up every couple of minutes. It's about, wow, you the best catch. Yep, you could, hey. That's what you want, that throffy water. Water goes throffy. You want frothy water. Yeah, white bait is like that, that look, you know, that just alive with white bait, that sound. So, yeah, that. Well, now, I've got my assistant over there, my assistant there from the Waikato, who's in charge of the net. And there's our catch there, check that out. We got to chuck some of these big guys out. There's a few big guys in there. But look, it's pretty good. It's actually slowed down a bit too in the last probably half an hour since our neighbor turned up. Just everything just slowed down. We turned up to uh, see how it was going and then after that I got nothing. So he brought me bad luck to uh, Gary. Oh, we were slaying it before he turned up and then we didn't stop. And then we stop slaying it. Hey. So yeah, that's not too bad. We might have probably you guys think in there half a kilo I reckon. Half a kilo. Right, so we're gonna have a coffee and we've got my assistant there, she's making a lot of noise. A little splashing going on in the background. There's a bit of splashing going on over there. So we're gonna have a coffee. It's about probably half past five, take a guess. So the afternoon tides. Yeah, I'm going to be something tomorrow. Right, our APG gas stove. Still got the same gas bottle. It lasted months that one. flat bit of ground it's not flat especially after that rain but yep check the river out now it's looking quite nice isn't it so we've got about two hours of incoming tide left we'll keep it under Today is Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday we'll start fishing some incoming tides. I think it's high tide tomorrow about, I don't know, 8 o'clock or something tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, high tide. Any good? Okay. Just had to fix the net up over there. Got strong current so we might get some more shoals hopefully. Nice afternoon here with the old whanau. Sorry. I didn't bring any of that chocolate topping. Yeah, 
Yes, lovely afternoon. Two bags of puha there. Some white bait. Here at the local shopping centre. Cheers, everybody. Rubbers out, rubbers hungry, look, I think. Mm. Afternoon sun's right in your face here. Hmm. Right. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. It's about half a colander there. So that's pretty good. Look, half a colander we got here today. That's alright, eh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Half a kilo down here the river. Oh. Wait bait over here, and we got our bags of puha there. See, <laughs> look at that. About two weeks after that big flood came through, let's go this way. Oh, yeah, bro. There's quite a bit actually in there. Oh. Right, so that's it. We all packed up. My sister and her partner got to go back to Ngaru here, so we'll go back and we'll clean the white bay up. Clean the white bait up and then they can take it back with them. Take some white bait back for for the kai, they got some white bait and two bags of lovely teal teal here at the old produce gardens. Oh, right, I think about maybe 500 grams, maybe 600 grams, maybe four to 600, 500. There you go, rubber. Hey, rubber. Let's go. Is that still recording? Still recording. Let's go. Five hundred grams. I think that's got it there. Mm, oh, here you go. So you got just over a pound. So that's what we yeah, about what we normally get about there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not yeah, five hundred grams. Mm, oh, I was right. Eh? Five hundred. Nice. Here you go. We'll put them into a bag for you guys. Find an ice block uh, for my sister to take back to go to Hawaii here with. And I thought, well, I've got a snapper head in here, a frozen snapper head, been there for about a week. So, because they live inland, love the old snapper head. So, snapper head can be the uh, ice block for them. There you go. Snapper head, puha, and white bait. Doesn't get any better than that. Here, I'm going to put that in the bag. That. Look at my other camera too, take a photo. Yeah. Bag. So that's not bad, that's every day you can sort of like get a, always get a feed down wherever you go. And there we are, look at that, see? Perfect. Oh, well, that's a cover. Look at that.